Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a video like this, but I wanna do more specific favorites videos on this channel. And so I wanna start with my all-time favorite makeup brushes. So I've done this video before talking about my favorite Sigma brushes, but that was a couple years ago now. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about Sigma, Morphe, and all of my other brands that I like. So this is always changing and I'm always trying new brushes, but today I wanted to include all of my tried and true, die-hard favorite makeup brushes. So I have a lot to talk about so I'm gonna give you the basic rundown of each brush and what I like it for And I will link all of them down below if you guys want to check them out So if you guys want to hear about all of my must-have makeup brushes, then just keep on watching So I'm gonna start with Sigma. If you guys don't know, Sigma is my all-time favorite makeup brush brand. I released a favorite set with them last year. They are some of the highest quality makeup brushes that I own. So Sigma brushes, when you buy them, come with a warranty. So above anything, if these brushes fail you within two years, you can get a replacement. So I love that, but they're also some of the most well-built and long-lasting brushes in my collection. So I'm gonna start with face brushes. First up is the Spotlight Dust brush this kind of speaks for itself I use it for under eye brightening powder it's nice and fluffy and soft it's also tapered it's perfect for under the eye but it's also big enough to set the entire face if you want to use it that way this one is my number one for setting my concealer next up is the f40 this is the large angled contour this was in my favorite set when it was available it did sell out but this is probably the most multifunctional face brush that I have in my collection I have a ton of these. I use it for contouring and I use it for blush. If I want to, I will also use it for powder, but mainly contour, bronzer, and blush. I love this brush for. If you guys follow me anywhere, then you've seen me use this, but it's absolutely perfect for the contour area, and I love that I can just dip into my blush right after that and pop it on. This is a must-have in anybody's collection. So next up, I have the F80 Air. The F80 is a great kabuki for applying foundation. It is one of my favorites, but the F80 Air I specifically use for primers. I don't really love to touch my face anymore when it comes to applying makeup, so instead of using my fingers for primers, I'm using this guy. There's enough space on here to put plenty of product and it disperses it nice and evenly. Any kind of liquid cream makeup product that I want to disperse evenly and not put too much in one area, this is really great for. I've been loving this for the iconic London Sheer blushes, but specifically primer of all kind work amazing with this brush and then the rest of my Sigma brushes I want to talk about are for the eyes so first up I have the bake precision this is the p89 brush it has an angle it's kind of like a mini angled kabuki brush and I use this for setting my eyelid and blending out anything that I use to set my eyelid so I will use this for concealer if I decide to set that way or I will use it for like Mac painterly or the Anastasia eye base Basically, you need a nice brush like this to really blend out your eye base. I do have kind of a lot of space on my lid, so this is nice because it's not too small and it's not too big. Now, Sigma has my favorite blending brushes, and we have a lot of them, so I'm going to go over them really quickly. First, we have the largest, and this is the E35 Tapered Blending Brush. If you guys don't know, I am a fan of white-haired brushes, and I get a lot of questions as to why. I feel like it just disperses the product a bit more evenly and a little less less heavy-handed than regular dark-haired synthetic brushes. These are synthetic as well. Sigma does a great job at mimicking animal hair, but this is not animal hair. This E35 is basically perfect for blending out a nice transition all over the lid. You can definitely do some crease work with this, but it's a little big for that, so I like to use it to fluff that color all over the lid before I start a look. Now this is my go-to blending brush. This is the E25. This was also in my set when it was available. This E25 blending brush is basically your typical white haired blending brush. It's perfect for crease work and blending out any color. I use this a lot for my monochromatic looks with one color in the crease and also all over the lid. You can use this in the crease and you can also pack color on the lid with this brush. This and the F40, I have the most duplicate 
favorites in my collection of because I like to have nice clean brushes when the rest of mine are dirty and they're the ones that pretty much I absolutely need to have on hand. And then recently Sigma did a launch that's helping me a lot with my artistry and that is making baby versions of the blending brushes that I know and love. So there is a detail blending brush that is a smaller version of the E25. It's the E27. This is the exact same brush but smaller. It's perfect for doing more detail work in the crease and not bringing colors too high up to the brow. This also works really well for like blowing out a smoky eye underneath the eye. So this and the E25 are kind of like a dream team when it comes to blending. And then I have two more small blending brushes from Sigma that I really enjoy. The first one is the E36 blending brush. This is basically a smaller version of the E35. This is what I like to use for inner corner highlight or glitter and blowing out the lower lash line most of the time. This is a very, very old brush specifically. I've had this in my collection for probably three years now. And then another brush from the Detail collection is the Detail Diffused Crease. This is the E33, and if you guys are a fan of the E40, which is one of the most popular blending brushes from Sigma, this is a smaller version of the E40. And as you can see, it's just a tiny blending brush. Now, pretty much the only pencil brushes that I use are from Sigma. This is the E30 pencil brush. I use this, again, for underneath the lower lash line, and I use it for brow bone highlight. I also use it for inner corner highlight. They're kind of boring, not the most fun to talk about, but I feel like a pencil brush is a staple in anybody's collection. Another brush that was in my favorite set and you guys have probably heard me talk about is the E58 Cream Color Brush. The E58 is just a magical little creature. You can use it for literally so much. You can use it for concealer underneath your eyes. You can use it for eye base. I like to use it to carve out my brows and for cut creases. So if you guys can see, this is a flat synthetic brush. It's important to have one of these in your collection, but this is rounded at the tip, so it really helps to make a perfect cut crease crease without any effort. This is also amazing for picking up kind of pesky eyeshadows. If there's something that works with your finger, it usually works really well with this. You can use this to pick up glitter. You can use this to pick up the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. It's really, really great for any cream of any kind. And last up from Sigma, we have what I would like to call an unnecessary, but is it really kind of favorite. And this is the most adorable brush that Sigma has. This is the EO4 Lash Fan, and I get a lot of questions about what I use when I'm being extra and putting highlighter on my brow bone, and it's this brush. <laughs> this speaks for itself. It's a baby, tiny fan. In the beauty industry, this used to be used to apply mascara to the lashes, which is super weird. So if you ever see me pull this on Instagram, it's the EO4 Lash Fan. So let's talk about Morphe brushes. Now, I am a big fan of Morphe. They are very, very affordable and they are great quality brushes, but they just don't last as long as my Sigma brushes. But with the price, I don't really mind replacing them every now and then, and I am a big fan of them. So again, I'm gonna start with face brushes. Some of my all-time favorites from Morphe are from the Jaclyn Hill line, one being the big bronzer brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02. So what I'm about to say is pretty gross and you guys might wonder why I'm still using it but the first couple times I washed this brush it did smell like animal hair it is animal hair so I don't really know what to expect but it did smell really bad so I was gonna stop using it and then I just gave it another chance I cleaned it a few times and now it doesn't smell when I wash it but I do want to get my use out of it it's already in my collection and I really do like it for bronzer again huge fan of white haired blending brushes do I wish this was synthetic yes but it does an amazing job at at diffusing bronzer not making it look muddy it looks really natural and so in the summer specifically I enjoy this because I can put bronzer kind of all over my face and it doesn't look crazy it doesn't look muddy it's nice and blended you can also use this for other powder products you can use it for powder you can use it for blush but mainly this is my favorite bronzer brush but let me know if there's a bronzer brush out there that you guys think is comparable to this that is synthetic I would like to try it if there is one next up this 
this is the only one I really didn't get a chance to clean for this video, so I'm sorry it is dirty. But this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH08. I believe this is called the Anything Cream Brush, but basically I use this for blending out my liquid concealer underneath my eye. If I'm applying my foundation and concealer with a brush, I like to use this one for concealer. Otherwise, I would use a sponge. But I like that this is nice and small so it can get underneath my eyes and blend things out without getting makeup kind of everywhere. But if you need a good brush for concealer blending, I definitely recommend this one. Now another three-year-old brush that I have is the Morphe M439. This is the Deluxe Buffer Brush and this is one of my favorite brushes for applying foundation. As you can see, it's nice and big so it's great for my large face. <laughs> but it's also very soft. It's one of my longest lasting Morphe brushes so the quality of this is really good but this is one of my tried and true blending brushes when it comes to foundation next up this is a morphe brush that i like to use to set my under eyes i kind of forgot about this guy this is another old brush in my collection it's the m438 brush and this is also really good for setting underneath the eye it's a little smaller than the spotlight duster so it's not going to get as much product everywhere but there's definitely reasons to go in with a smaller one and this is perfect for that now one of my all-time favorite highlight brushes is from Morphe. Now this guy does shed a little bit and this is not my first one. I've had to pick up a couple backups but this is the M510 and this is absolutely perfect for highlighter. I use it for everything. Pressed powder, loose powder. I love this for highlighting. It's one of my all-time favorite brushes. It disperses product nice and evenly. Again, I think I attribute it to the white hair. I want to say this one is synthetic hair but I'm gonna have to let you know in the description box. But Realistically, this is probably my most used highlighting brush. Then we do have a white haired blending brush from Morphe as well, and I'm sure you guys have heard everybody talk about this. This is the M433. It is pretty much the same as the Sigma E25. It's slightly bigger. Also, it does kind of shed and kind of disperse a little bit, but it is much cheaper. So it is a great cheaper alternative if you guys do not have a large budget for your brushes. And then last up from Morphe, this is a new favorite, but it's quickly become a staple in my collection. This is the M224 and this is another flat synthetic brush, really, really perfect for cut creases and concealer under the eyes. Again, it's a lot like the cream color brush from Sigma, but this is a little bit bigger. It covers a little bit more surface area. It's also very, very flat. So if you guys want a very flat synthetic brush for your cut creases, I recommend this one. There are no rules to makeup brushes. You guys use them for whatever you want. Sometimes I find the best uses out of brushes that are not meant for that use. So next up, I have a few brushes from random brands that are not Morphe and Sigma. First up is this bamboo foundation brush from Tarte. Now this is probably my favorite for foundation out of any brush that I've tried because it's so soft and so big. I do have a bigger face, bigger cheeks, more surface area, so I like a bigger blending brush. But this is just so soft. I love this brush so much. It has not shed at all and I've washed it many, many times now. This also has a flat bottom, so this is the only brush that I have that I I can actually set on my desk and let it sit there, which is exactly what I do. Then we have this little guy from ColourPop. This is a small duo fiber face brush. It is the F9. I like this for cream contour, like the Chanel Tan de Chanel bronzer. This is perfect for that. It's also really great for super shock highlighters. If you guys have any of those, this is amazing for that. And I also will use this for primer, just like the F80 Air. I like to apply primer with any kind of duo fiber brush. Then we have another new favorite for foundation. This is the A30 Domed Kabuki, I believe it's called, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's nice because it can multitask. It can put your foundation on, but it also can blend out concealer because it's kind of smaller than those big brushes. It also can work around my brows a little easier than some of the bigger brushes, but I really, really like it. I do have two of these I've been going between. This is also really nice for when I do apply a cream contour, like a stick contour. This is really good for blending it out in a small area without kind of dragging it too far around my face. Then last up is also from Anastasia, and this just happens to be my favorite brush for dip brow and for just combing out my brows. It's a dual-sided spoolie and brow brush. 
This is the number 12 brush. It's a tiny angled liner brush. It's really nice because it's not too flimsy to where it's going to get your brow everywhere, but it's also not too hard, so it's not too harsh of a line. It's nice and perfect and in between for just applying dip brow, which is one of my favorite products for the brows. And then of course it has the spoolie on the other side, which is nice and sturdy. And some spoolies really suck and they come out of the brush and it's so annoying, but that hasn't happened with any of my Anastasia brow brushes. But those are all of my favorite makeup brushes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Let me know what product you want to see in my next like dedicated favorites video, whether it be highlighters, lipsticks, nude lipsticks. Let me know. I want to cover these for you guys. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for watching. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.